In this lesson, we want to look at how do we know what the content of a file is without opening the file. So for example, on the map on the left are the cemeteries of Rush County, Indiana, the file that we've worked with in the past. If I want to know the elements names in this file, what are the names of these cemeteries? Well, I could click on the file. I can go over to labeling. I could choose a field, and the field I'll choose is name, which is the name of the cemeteries, and I could click on enable labeling, and we see the names of the cemeteries. I could also right click on the file, open the attribute table, and I can see the names of the cemeteries in this name column. But I'd like to be able to do this using a script. Let me close that. So how do we do this using a script? Well, we're going to start by copying the first three lines of code because the file still comes from the same location. So we've copied those three lines of code. I'm going to hit an enter. And the first thing I want to do is tell what file do I want to look at the names in. So we're going to call this input and say input equals quotation mark. And we want to look at the cemeteries in Rush County, Indiana. So that's IN underscore Rush underscore cemetery. So that is our input file. And then we want to store the values in, from that input file in another file. And we're going to call that store. So this is, a, again, a new variable. So store equals. And here's where we're going to use our command. So it's arcpy dot. And we remember the tab key we can press to help us with the naming. It takes a few moments to engage the first time. There it is. And what we have to do is tell it we're going to look at data, so we need to use the data access. So it's D A, there it is right at the top, so I just hit enter, dot, and we're going to use one of the search cursors. Anytime we look at data, we have to do this D A. So if we're using these cursor commands, they always have to be part of the DA group, the data access group. So I'm going to hit tab again. And I'm going to look for search. Well, it's not coming up there. So I'm just going to type it in. The ca whoops, capital S, search, cursor. And I'm going to put a parenthesis, and notice it puts the right-hand parenthesis. And we have two components we have to give it. The first component we give it is, where is this data coming from? That's our input file, the Rush County Cemeteries, comma. And the second component is, what field do we want to look at the values from? And that is a field called name. And remember, that was all capitalized. So we're going to do that. So now we've defined a variable called store. And then we want each of these lines printed on a separate um, line as we get the output. So we're going to use a for command. For, and we create a new variable. And we're going to call this stores in store. So what this is going to do is each element that's stored in the variable store is going to be looked at one at a time. So it'll look at the first cemetery, it'll loop back around, look at the second cemetery, and do this until we've looked at all the cemeteries that are in that file. So we're going to hit Enter. We left off our colon. Let's go back and put our colon in. There we go. And print, parenthesis. And what do we want to print? We want to print the new variable stores. 
and we want to print the first element of that new variable which will be the zeroth element and we don't need to press return but we are done with the script or we could press return it doesn't really matter so we've created this script where we're working in the same environment that we've been working in with the same input file that we've been working with we're looking at the contents of a single field name and we're going to return those contents in a variable called store and then we're going to interrogate what's in each looping through that variable so every cemetery will be on its own line if we like what we've wrote we come up here to the run function and we click run and we give it a few moments to do its operation and there we can see all the cemeteries listed in Rush County Indiana and if we did a careful inspection we should see that they correspond with those cemeteries that are drawn on the map.